Hi, this is Michael with Iconesis. I just wanted to communicate to you today shooting 360 sunglasses uh, with our large photography USB turntable and the Shutterstream 360 product photography software. Um, I've just enabled my live view. That's actually a real-time preview of what my camera sees. Let me zoom out my camera here. I just want to communicate. I'm actually not using any specialty photography lighting whatsoever. I'm actually shooting this just on my desk. Um, but I did want to communicate kind of the power of the, uh, well, obviously I have the turntable to automate 360 image capture and uh, also more specifically the editing tools and the automated background removal tool. Uh, let me zoom in my camera and we'll get started with our, with our demo here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in my camera and uh, now that I've zoomed in my camera, what I'm going to do is position my object in the center of the turntable. And this is something we do visually. Now, after we've kind of found the center of our turntable, and I probably could have positioned my camera a little bit better. Okay, looks better there. Um, after we've found the center of our turntable, what we can actually do if we're shooting a lot of like size objects is create an image overlay. So I'll just hit create here, and you're gonna see what just happened. When I take off my object, so I'm going to shoot my next sunglasses, I can visually line them up to place them back in the center. Uh, we do have more tools inside of the software uh, that do help uh, with your positioning. Uh, for instance, uh, probably the biggest one would be to pre-rotate the turntable while in live view mode so you can see your object spin in 360 before you get started shooting. Um, our next step here is I've just defined a crop area around my subject. That is, it's only going to take a picture of what's inside this area that I define. You can also adjust all your camera settings for your lighting environment. So after everything looks pretty good, maybe we'll just take one quick shot. And we'll take a look at the image quality that will pop up uh, almost immediately. And we can see a pretty good quality image. Uh, don't worry about the, uh, the background. It's quite ugly, but uh, we're going to be able to take care of that in a very timely and automated manner. All right, so I'm just going to delete that image from the thumbnail gallery. We are ready to get shooting in our 360 mode. I will click the 360 button up in the top right, select the number of frames I wish to shoot, for instance, 24. Then I'm simply going to hit start. This is going to automate my entire image capture process in a turn, stop, snap workflow completely automated through the software. Now, as images are captured, they're instantly uploaded to the computer, as you can see in the bottom left. That's where all the thumbnails are being uploaded and it's displaying each image as it is captured. So we can see image number two will pop up. Uh, again, we're shooting 24 frames per 360. This takes about three minutes to shoot the entire process. Okay, so we've just completed our 360 image capture process. My next step uh, will be to obviously edit these images, ideally remove the background. I'm going to go ahead and take one more image here, uh, obviously removing my subject and taking a picture of just the background. Now this background image is going to be used as a reference image. And what we use is image recognition. So essentially it's going to understand that the pixels in this frame of where the product is and where the shadow is are different than the pixels in this frame and it's going to remove those automatically for us. So our first step will be to take this background only image and we're going to import this into the background removal tool. So I'll go and say add it to the current background image. OK. This will be imported successfully. And then next what we'll do is we'll go ahead and delete that background image. Select the entire set of 24 images we just captured and enter into the back into the editing tool. Now in one step here, I'm going to go into my background removal tool and what we can do in this step is adjust our threshold. And as you can see, it's not quite pure white, but as I increase my threshold, it starts to remove the background. So that's essentially what we want to do in this step here and remove the background. Uh, and we can also say show us what pixels are white and we can see we're getting a very good cutout here. So after we've found our optimal settings, um, I can actually hit apply to all. What that's going to do in a batch process is that's going to race through the entire set of images and automatically remove the background. Now that we've completed the editing portion and background removal of our software, we can go through and inspect images if required. We will see that every single image out of the set of 24 has the background removed completely. 
A nice thing about our software is it does a very good job at edge smoothing. As you can see, if I zoom in nice and up close, we can go ahead and take a look and see how well it does at recognizing the edge and smoothing that with the soft line. Our next step here will be to output the set of images. I will use my batch saving tool, rename my file, choose my output folder. I can choose to resize if required. In this case, maybe I need all my images at 800 pixels wide. And I can also choose to define a resolution 72 DPI for web use if required. I'll hit the OK button and that's going to save the entire set of images in a batch process, naming them sequentially. Now that we're done outputting our images, let's go ahead and locate them in the folder. As we can see here, our set of 24 images all resized down our specific pixel size and named sequentially. Our very last step will be to import the set of images into the included 360 view creator software to create our 360 product view in HTML5 format. I will simply click and drag that set of images into the 360 view creator software in which I can see it automatically creates a 360 view.